Scientists believe that a small ape-like humanoid could be hiding in plain sight all this time. The scientific study of small humans was pioneered on the Indonesian island of Flores. Gregory IV, a retired professor, has a number of hypotheses that continue to bolster people's hopes of discovering a living Homo floresiensis. The book that Forth published in 2022 details his search for evidence of a human-like species that has been continuously living for multiple decades. Around 50,000 years ago, members of the scientific community believe that a diminutive species of human known as Homo floresiensis once lived on the island of Flores, which is located in Indonesia. However, one professor believes that the ape-like humanoids could still exist there, despite the fact that evolution has occurred. Imagine you're on the hunt for Bigfoot, except the target is much more manageable in size. For approximately 40 years, Forth has been conducting research on the Homo floresiensis, first while employed by the University of Oxford and later by the University of Alberta. Between Ape and Human, an anthropologist on the trail of a hidden hominoid was the title of the book he published in 2022. The debrief recently published an interview with Forth in which he discussed the hunt. Forth maintains his faith in the contemporary understanding of the concept that the natives refer to as the Lai Hoa. Forth explains to the debrief that what really interested me about the Lai Hoa is that it was small, like the figures in Naj country, and that despite this, it was reckoned still to be alive. And in point of fact, it appeared that there were a few people in the area who claimed to have seen one or more of them. According to the accounts given to Forth by the Leo people, these creatures walk upright like humans, have more hair than humans but not as much hair as apes, and have a face that is strikingly similar to that of an ape. The discovery of fossils approximately 20 years ago gave the professor renewed faith in the existence of a living species of Homo floresiensis. When the report started coming out, I was quite amazed, he tells the debrief. This is because what people were describing, what paleoanthropologists were describing, and in fact reconstructing, sounded very much like what the Leo people had been describing to me the previous summer. According to the claims made in Forth's book, ape-human hybrids continued to exist at least into modern times, and the author believes that credible sightings indicate that there is a possibility that a small population is still around today. The search for a contemporary equivalent of Lihoa continues in earnest.